Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a simple correlation matrix in R. Now, it's very straightforward to calculate a correlation coefficient for two variables, but when we've got multiple variables in the data set, it can be a little bit more awkward, and sometimes a matrix is the best way to view multiple correlations across multiple variables in a data set. So I'm going to use some marketing data uh, for the, this video here, and the data that I'm cho I've chosen it comes in the Datarium um, package, which is available in R. If you haven't installed this package already, uh, go to the Packages tab in R Studio, click on the Install button, and type in Datarium, and it will pop up there to you, and you'll be able to install that. Now, I've installed it already, so there's no need for me to do that. So, and then once it's installed, then you use the library function to load this uh, package into your library. So I'm going to run my library function. And you may or may not get a, a warnings uh, here as I have. Uh, many of us will have different versions of R and R Studio. So let, let, let's take a look at one of the data sets that's in this uh, datarium called marketing. So run, and we look at the first um, six lines using the head function of the marketing data set. And this is the data set that I'm going to create a correlation matrix for. So you can see it contains um, sales data from uh, YouTube, Facebook, and newspaper advertising, and the sales generated for each of these, let's say these are uh, weeks. So week one, uh, YouTube generated 276.12 in sales, Facebook 45.36, and so on. So we've this, uh, there are 200 lines in this data set. So what I'd like to be able to do is see if there's a correlation, for example, between YouTube and Facebook, between YouTube and newspaper, between YouTube and sales, and all the other possible combinations here. And we've got four variables in here, which means we would have to do six individual correlation uh, for commands to determine the correlation. So let's do the first one using the car function. And I'm going to use the marketing data, dollar sign, and I pick up, say, YouTube first, comma, and then marketing again, dollar sign, and Facebook. So in this way here, I can use the car function to determine uh, if there is a correlation between marketing, YouTube marketing and Facebook marketing. So let's run that. And we can see the correlation coefficient is 0 0.05, uh, which is a very, very low correlation. It's almost zero. Therefore, there is no correlation between the, the figures for the advertising spend on YouTube and on Facebook. So if I now wanted to determine the correlation coefficient between uh, YouTube and newspaper sales, uh, I'm going to copy that line to save me some typing and paste. I would have to um, take out Facebook and put in newspaper. Run that line. And you can see that we've, all, we've got a, also a very, very low correlation coefficient of 0 0.056. Now, because there are four variables here, this means I would have to do this six times in order to determine the correlation values between each variable in the data set. So what would be much easier to do if we could have one function, one easy way to um, figure out how the correlations between all the variable variables in this data set. So that's what I'm going to do next. And this is very, very straightforward to do. It's just simply the car function and the name of the data set. So I'm going to call it marketing. So it's just simply, I don't need to indicate variables or to put in multiple values or anything like that. The car function will uh, figure out that in the data set that there are four variables and it will perform correlation calculations between each of these. So let me run that. And we get a very nice correlation matrix here in the console. So you can see um, we've got columns and rows representing each of the four variables in the data set. So uh, just watch out for things like um, the YouTube to YouTube correlation is obviously a value of one. That's the maximum. So that's a perfect positive correlation. The same for Facebook, Facebook um, newspaper data plotted against itself and sales um, um, correlation coefficient calculated between sales and sales. What you're looking for then is the correlation coefficient for uh, YouTube and Facebook is 0 0.054, as we've seen already. Uh, YouTube and newspaper is 0 .05, 0 0.056, as we have seen already. But we can also see that we've got the correlation coefficients for all the other values in here as well. So if I wanted to see the correlation between Facebook and sales, uh, this is the value highlighted in the console that we can see here. It's a slightly higher correlation. And in our uh, correlation matrix here, we can see that the highest correlation is between sales and YouTube. 
Now, there's a couple of other things that you, you, you need to know about the correlation coefficient. Uh, the main thing here is um, the specif to specify the type of correlation that you want to do. We use that using a method parameter, method equals, and there are three types. There's the Pearson correlation coefficient, which is the default one, uh, the Kendall and the Spearman, which are more used, both of those are mostly used for categorical data or uh, data that sets that are not normal. So here I'm going to use uh, the default one. I don't need to put this in, but I'm just putting it in for uh, display here, that the method is Pearson. So when I run this again, I get exactly the same correlation um, uh, uh, matrix here. So if you have um, a categorical data, you maybe you should use the Spearman or rank-based data, you use either the Kendall's staff or the Spearman rank correlation coefficient. Um, so depending on your data set, you choose the appropriate method to input here. So that's how you create a very, very simple correlation matrix in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.